Biafra will not come in 2023. Biafra will not come in 2023. Biafra will not come in 2023. We will burn down Nigeria and still Biafra will come. the point? Of course. Do you understand me? When we say we will burn down Nigeria, some people will shout, Oh, go and arrest him. Don't arrest him. These are fools. Complete fools. You think we are scared of saying we are going to border Nigeria? Who border Nigeria? You think war is uh, to come and cement your house? I hope you're listening. You Do think fighting war for your freedom is to come to your house and cement it? Or to go to, to, go to government uh, houses and put a pillar so that it will not fall? You think fighting for freedom is not about burning down? We're going to burn down Nigeria. And after burning it down, Biafra will still come. So the choice is yours. <laughs> you are getting it. It is not. Uh, I, am, I want you to make this video go viral. I am saying it today, the 6th of November 2022. If you do not give Biafra freedom, and if we do not get freedom in 2023, and if we do not fight for the freedom and get it, we are going to burn Nigeria down. And after burning it down, we are still going to get our Biafra. All right, great people. All right. My great people, I want you people to understand that Biafra is not coming in 2023. And they said they are going to bend down that contraption called Damilebu Zoo, Nigeria. I have been saying this time with that number. I don't know why our people cannot just reason and understand the ethics of this movement. I want you people to understand that we are still counting down. Today, he left 101 for Biafra to come in 2023. You see, I keep on saying this to my people. I always bring reality to you all. I am not coming here to deceive you, to put you in a state of imagination, to fabricate or concoct story to you people. But some are there trying to manipulate your minds and you don't even think about it at all. And I want you people to understand this. We are not going to stop. We will keep on counting it down till that last day that Biafra will come. Now you understand it. And I know that you are paying attention to every single word that's going to come out from my mouth. I believe in reality. I believe in reality. That is why I always hear to give you what it is. But let me introduce myself. Great people, my great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name is Mazo Okinnaokechu, known as the Biafra Child in Wachineke. The general, Biafra will not come in 2023. And they will burn down that contraption set by Simon de Bilima in Finland. Now have you begin to understand? Now have you begin to understand that illiteracy is a disease? Stupidity and idiocy in Simon Eber is something I don't know where this thing came from. A person that is not he never told you people where he's from. He will come out there, begin to lie to you all. And some of you will believe that this guy know what he's talking about. I have said it time with that number. A Birima in Finland is a double agent. He knows what he's doing. Don't think that he don't know what he's doing. Of course, and he is not the real person behind all these things. They are just fronting him. They are fronting him. There is a lot of people behind this guy. 
And I want you people to keep this always in your mind. That the vision and mission of Simon Epa is for our leader Mazen Namdekan not to come out. And they want to destroy what Mazen Namdekan have built. You all listen to Barristan Frank Ejofo. And every one of you heard what he said. There is no lie about it. But we will keep on counting this down till that end of this Biafra will come. I want you people to know this. That someone ever will keep on deceiving some of you that they don't even understand the mess all of you are into. Now he's saying that he's going to bend that contraption down. Let me tell you people what he's doing. Because this guy has nothing to offer. He has nothing to offer. He came out last time. He posted on his Twitter handle that he have already bought a warship. And where is that warship? You know, what this guy is doing is just to prepare the minds of the zoo people. He is talking to the zoo so that they will come down in our land, begin to kill a man. Destruction of our properties. He wants the international community to tag IPOB a terrorist group in worldwide. That is exactly the vision and mission of this guy. And that is people that are behind him, that are pushing him. That is what they are telling him to do. Now he's threatening Nigerian as a sovereignty state. They claim to be. He's threatening them. Telling them that he's going to bring that contraption down. He has no alliance. He has no body. Nothing he has prepared. Now what they are doing, they are going every place, raising flag, telling you that Biafra is coming. All this thing is a deceit. It's a propaganda. All this thing is just a lie. But we will keep on, you know, opening the eyes of our people. We are here and we are not going to stop. You that went and wake up a sleeping lion and you think now that sleeping lion have woken up, you, want, you think that I'm going to go back again to sleep. The answer is no. We are on this thing and we are not going to stop it. I'm not going to stop. Simon Eber, there is no rest. There is no rest for you. We are here. I, the Biafran, I'm here for you. What this guy is doing now is to invite the Fulanis that we have ammunition to destroy Nigeria or to fight Nigeria. And now they will begin to invite the terrorists from Chad, Nigeria, Mali to come down to Biafra land and begin to massacre our people. And I want to ask you people something. Some of you that you don't even reason, you don't even understand what is going on. I want to ask you people, since the adoption of our leader and rendition him in that contraption called Damine Bozu, who are those people they are killing in our land? Who are those? Simon ever told you people that he's doing this, he's doing that, he's burning properties of people, he's killing people. Who are those he's killing? He's killing also the fear from people. And he's telling you people that he want Biafra to come. And you are killing those people that you want to restore Biafra for. That is something that you have to understand. It's not that he's fighting enemy, but he's killing his own according to him. Of course, we don't know where he is from. Because he never tells us his identity, where he, I mean, his state or his province in Biafra land. None of us know where this man is from. But he will keep on there lying to you all, telling you people, using propaganda, deceiving all of you that Biafra will come in 2023. There is no alliance. There is no preparation. There is no men on the ground. And some of you are paying money to this idiot that is just one to stole from you people. And some of you are believing it. Now he's telling you people that Biafra is not coming again, but they are going to burn Biafra. They're going to burn Nigeria. I want to tell Nigerian government, because sometimes they will be overlooking this. They think that we don't know. We know everything. We know they are working together. We know that they are projecting him to come out and begin to say all this nonsense so that they will use that opportunity and come in Biafra land and begin to kill our people. Nigeria, we know. 
And if you don't know, I want to let you know that Simon Eber is the one behind all these things. Good day and welcome.